All right, in this video, I'm just going to talk real quickly about uh, sets and unions and intersections, finding the union and intersections of a couple sets. So very basic, nothing heavy here. Um, the union symbol looks like a little U, um, and you can read this in English as the word or. And the upside down U, that's what's known as the intersection symbol, and this can be read as the, the word and. And I always remember that just because, you know, the... Uh, the, the intersection symbol, it almost looks like an A, which stands for, to me, it reminds me of the word and. And this little symbol, you know, the oar, I always thought, you know, if you're out in a canoe, it kind of looks like the bottom of an oar that you stick in water. So my, my, uh, my way of remembering, uh, hey, it works, though, it's stuck for me. So basic idea. Um, the intersection of two sets are basically all we do when we take the intersection of two sets we just list the elements that are in common, the ones that belong to both sets. You know, the intersection. Uh, you know, I kind of imagine the intersection of a road. You know, it's, 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 it's that place in the road that's common sort of to both streets. It's where they overlap. The union of two sets, we just simply list everything from both sets. So suppose, uh, one little example here, suppose we have the set A, and our little set notation, we use our little curly brackets, and the, the uh, elements uh, inside, that's what we label each one. So in this case, we have four elements. We've got the element A, uh, element, we've got the element A, B, C, and E. And in our set B, we have the elements B, F, and G. Maybe A stands for the, you know, the uh, set of people who are in algebra class. And maybe there's Alan, Bob, Carl, and Eugene. And B stands for, um, you know, the people that are in biology. Maybe we've got Bob, Fran, and Gary. If we find the intersection, so A intersect B, that's simply going to be the set of elements that are, that are um, in common, the ones that belong to both sets. So I could think, is element A going to be in the intersection? It has to belong to both sets, and A definitely doesn't belong to both sets. Element B, though, does belong to both sets, so we would list that element in there. And I think that's the only one. Element C doesn't belong to both sets, element E doesn't, neither does F nor G. So the intersection of these two sets would simply be the single element B. If we look at the union, a union B. Now we just simply list everybody. We just stick everybody together in one big set. So we've got element A, we've got element B, we've got element E, we've got element, uh, oh, I said them backwards, we've got A, B, C, and then E. So that's everybody from set A. And now I'm going to list everybody from set B. I've already got a uh, little B listed, so I'm not going to list that again. But then we would also have to include F, and we would also have to include G. So this would be the union of our two sets. We just list everything down. Um, again, the intersection, we just list who's in common. So one more little quick example here. Um, suppose our set A is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, dot, dot, dot. So assume this pattern continues forever. So set A is just the odd numbers that are greater than 0. Um, set B, we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. We've got the even numbers greater than 0. So if we look at the intersection, so I'm thinking what elements are both in set A and in set B at the same time? Well, set A only has odd numbers. Set B only has even numbers. So there's nothing in common at all. The intersection, and the way we write that is we make a little circle, kind of looks like a 0 with a line through it, and this little symbol stands for what's, what's known as the empty set. And the empty set basically says there is nothing, uh, let me say, uh, no elements in common. Okay, so in this case, hey, the intersection would simply be nothing. Um, there's, 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 there's no element that belongs to both A and B at the same time. But if we do A or B, A union B, well, in this case, we're going to get all the odd numbers greater than 0, all the even numbers greater than 0. So the union would simply be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc. 
So basically we're going to get all the natural numbers in this case, all the counting numbers, um, and that would be the union in this case. So intersection, just list who's in common if there is anything in common, um, like in our first example. So the intersection, you just list whoever's in common. In that case it was B only. And when you do the union, to me this is the one I don't have to think about, I just write everybody down. So that's it, that's the basic idea here about uh, unions and intersections. You can certainly have unions and intersections of more than, than two sets, but um, this is the basic idea um, on what to do if you, just have, if you do just have two sets only.